switching my feet around, clenching my hands, or wondering what I'm going to say next. I'll start out with an introduction that will grab everyone's attention. We'll make them wonder what I'm going to say next, and we'll hold them captive for my entire message. That message will be delivered without any scutters or stumbling, with great eye contact, directed body movement, and will impact my audience. Then comes the conclusion, where I'll leave everyone with either a call to action or a call to tears, whatever I'm aiming for that day. <laughs> I will have successfully delivered a speech that I've been working for the entire time I've been in Toastmasters. I will, for that moment, be the speaker that I want to be. <clears throat> this kind of accomplishment does not happen overnight. It takes a lot of work, and when I look forward, I see that I have a ways to get there. But looking back, I see how far I've come as well. I can sometimes give my speeches without relying a lot on my notes. Once in a while, step out behind the podium. I no longer am mistaken for a flight director, but rather just someone that uses their hands a little too often. <laughs> I've even lost my valley girl accent that I came in with, <laughs> which consisted of saying like about every four words. <laughs> These are accomplishments that I'm actually quite proud of and had to overcome some things to get there. Getting up to speak every single time is somewhat of an accomplishment for me. Getting up in front of new groups has been even more challenging. And my biggest challenge is getting up when I'm not quite ready to be giving the speech and don't exactly <coughs> know what I'm going to say. Those times where I've only thought briefly about what a good speech would be, some things that would be added in, and then I'm called upon to present it that day. Every time I've given one of those speeches, though, while I can sit down and note three things that I kind of need to work on, one thing that I drastically need to work on, and one thing that I've forgotten, it's better than the speech I gave sitting in that chair doing nothing. Watching videos of myself has also extremely improved my speaking ability. Nobody has had the courage yet to write on my comments, you look like a ditz up there, you need to pull your act together. <laughs> <laughs> Watching videos, I can see this for myself and try to make an improvement on it. I finally started getting comments on those sheets that say, Good job, I like listening to you. While I never thought that people would say these things about me, it's nice to see, and at the same time I wonder, did you really just watch the speech that I gave? <laughs> the moment, these are all things that I've learned in Toastmasters, but I wouldn't have learned any of them without the help, encouragement, and feedback of other Toastmasters and members. Without the, develop the development of videotaping us and that sometimes not so often phone call that there's a speaking opportunity, you should take it. Without these things, I wouldn't have learned my <coughs> greatest attributes or things that I need to work on for myself. Finally, from the, mem from the members, I get an hour to feel productive and good about myself. Sometimes I have to drag myself away from the work that really needs to be done, but after spending an hour with all of my fellow Toastmasters, I never ever regret it. I know that there's not a better way to spend my lunch hour than being here either speaking or watching someone else speak and learning from them. Today, I leave you with a final thought. Think of the speaker you want to be, the people who, 
who you choose to surround yourself that will push you towards that goal. And thank you for pushing me and challenging me to become the speaker that I want to.